In this video, we are going through the uh, chapter 7, section 7.5, simplifying a cos x plus minus b sine x. First of all, let's go through the full method and then I will explain the shortcut for that. Okay, so show that you can express 3 sin x plus 4 cos x in the form of r times sin x plus alpha or r cos x minus alpha where r is positive okay it is important r is greater than zero and alpha must be between greater than zero or less than 90 degrees both are exclusive okay so what's the point of doing that is we know that there isn't a specific identity for sign when you adding sign with cos x okay uh, so therefore we have to use this formulas to be able to solve it which we will go through that in next example however let's convert 3 sin x plus 4 cos x in the form of r sin x plus alpha okay to do that let's say a okay so 3 sin x plus 4 cos x must be identical to r sin x plus alpha r sin x plus alpha in the bracket we know that from sin a plus b formula or addition formula rather we've got sin a cos b plus sin b cos a we're gonna to use exactly the same formula for x plus alpha however in this sub a we've got x and in this sub b we've got alpha here so therefore Three sine x plus four cos alpha mm, cos x rather not alpha is identical to r in the bracket. Let, let's write down the addition formula for this, which becomes sine x cos alpha plus sine alpha cos x next step is now let's expand this bracket so 3 sin x plus 4 cos x is identical to r times sin x cos alpha plus r times sin alpha x now since these two are identical left and right hand side are identical therefore we will be able to match the coefficients let's look at the three sin x we've got sin x here we've got sin x here that's the reason why we matching this one with this term why we are not matching first term here three sin x with the r sin alpha cos x because we don't have sin x here we've got cos x here so sin x and cos x they won't match up so therefore i write down one for this to be identical three sin x must be equal to r sin x cos alpha number two cos x and we've got cos x here i'm gonna to match this one with this one so therefore for cos x is equal to r 
sin alpha times y cos x. Okay. So let's simplify equation 1 and 2. In equation 1, I'm going to divide both side by sin, sin x. And the new equation 1, okay, I write down the Greek letter I, or 1, which should be 3 equals to R cos alpha. And this one, new equation 2, Divide both sides by cos x, you get 4 equals to r sin alpha. Now we've got new equation 1, 3 equals to r cos alpha, and equation 2, 4 equals to r sin alpha. So, dividing equation 2 by 1, We would get 4 divided by 3 is equal to r sine alpha divided by r cos alpha. Dividing the left and right hand side of the equations by each other. Which is equal to 4 over 3. We can cancel out r and r from here. We get sine alpha over cos alpha, which is tan alpha, is equal to 4 over 3. Therefore, alpha is equal to tan minus 1 of 4 over 3. Using my calculator for tan minus 1 of 1 over 3, uh, 4 over 3, I get alpha is equal to 53.1. So let's go back to the question. It says alpha must be between 0 and 90. So therefore, alpha equal to 53.1 is acceptable. Okay, we keep this answer. If we had negative value, then we know how to find the next angle for tan and so on. Okay, next one. We are required to work out R as well. R is a constant. So what we do for this, we go back to the first and second equation. I call this one equation 1 again. Okay. I use another sort of numbers. Okay. The Farsi or Arabic number. Let's say equation 1 and equation 2. Okay. So, what I do here, I square both sides of the equation. So, the new equation 1 would be 9 equals to r cos alpha. If I put bracket and the square both sides, I get r squared cos squared alpha. Next one would be 16 equal to r squared sin squared alpha. Okay, so what I need to do to work out r now is I add new equation 1 with new equation 2. Okay, so 9 plus 16 is equal to or r squared sine squared alpha plus r squared cos squared alpha is equal to 16 add 9. I factorize from r squared here. I get sine squared alpha add cos squared alpha, which is equal to 25. 
We know that sine squared alpha plus cos squared alpha is identical to 1. Therefore, substituting 1 here, we get r squared times 1 is r squared, which is equal to 25. Therefore, r is equal to positive negative square root of 25. However, in this case, we're going to use only positive because in the question it says r is greater than 0. Therefore, r is 5. Finally, we could say 3 sin x plus 4 cos x is identical to r times sin x plus alpha, where r is 5, sin x plus alpha is 53.1. Okay, end of the part A. Example 14, part A. However, the part B is very similar. I'm just going to give you the final answer for part B. And I leave this one as a homework for you to do it. Okay, so for part B, R cos X minus alpha, or rather I should write down the first equation first, identical to 3 sin X plus 4 cos X. For this one, r cos x minus alpha, we need to use cos a minus b formula, which is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Okay. However, the shortcut for this, okay, would be we were simplifying a cos x plus minus b sin x for positive values of a and b a sin x plus b cos x can be expressed in the form of r sin x plus minus alpha and a cos x plus minus b sin x can be expressed in the form of r cos x plus minus alpha, where r is greater than 0 and alpha is always between 0 or 90 or 0 and pi over 2. Okay, so r cos x is always equal to a and I mean r cos alpha equals to a and r sin alpha is equal to b. So you can directly work out after the first time you expand it. And r is the square root of a squared plus b squared. This is the short method to work out the values for a, b, and r. Okay, end of the example 14. Now, in next video, I will go through the example 15. And hopefully, it will become more clear that why we turn this sort of equations into r sine x plus minus alpha or r cos x plus minus alpha.